Okay, today I want to discuss this topic that I've, you know, came across. And uh, I knew it was like a serious topic because of the way I experience life. You know what I'm saying? It's a very serious topic. And that's like Africans versus African Americans or Black Americans. And this is a very serious topic because it seems like it's a lot of ignorance on both sides of the of the playing field, you know what I mean? You have some African Americans that don't like Africans. And in fact, I seen a girl on YouTube express her thoughts upon Africans on a few Africans that she had encountered in her life, you know, when she had a lot of negative things to say. But I like to address exactly what's going on and why it's like that, you know? Um, me, personally, I'm gonna tell you on my perspective on what I see and what I experienced. See, I'm an I'm born. I was born in Washington D.C. and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. But my parents, they were born in Nigeria. Like I was saying, I was just interrupted. But um, yeah, my parents are from Nigeria, and they was um from the town. You see what I'm talking about? Okay, they from Undo, Undo State in Nigeria, in Undo Town. You know what I mean? And um, the reason why I'm telling you this is because as I was growing up, you know, in America, a uh, child of Nigerian, you know, my parents are very proud Nigerians, so... They named their children not Nigerian names. They wasn't going to give me a name like Mark or something like that. They wanted to give me a name that I will be able to, you know, locate myself, I guess. You know, a name is a name that means something. You know what I'm saying? So my name means the crown of the Lord. The crown is coming home. And, um, the ignorance came towards me as a child, you know what I'm saying? Going to school... Um, teachers pronouncing my name and they can't pronounce it right because you know they, they never was taught the language you know what I'm saying not during in Yoruba dialect and language first of all I want to also state that Africans are not all the same people it's not like the United States you know what I'm saying where everybody is one people and we are we call ourselves all Americans or whatever whatever in Africa they have different countries you know what I'm saying you have Syria alone You have uh, Niger. You have Nigeria. You have Cameroon. You have South Africa. And, and you have Ghana. Ivory Coast. You know what I'm saying? So you had different people. And in, in, within these countries, you know what I'm saying? They had different peoples within the country. You know what I'm saying? Nigeria have over 200 different dialects. You know what I'm saying? Whereas though you have some people that speak Yoruba, you got some people that speak Hausa, you got some people that speak Igbo, you know what I'm saying? And then they have their little sub dialects, you know what I'm saying? Even my people are Yoruba people, but they speak Undo, you know what I'm saying? That's a different dialect from Yoruba, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a lot of understanding that you have to when you deal with Africans or Nigerians or Cameroonians or Egyptians. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a lot of knowledge that you have to understand. But being raised and born in America, you know what I'm saying? It's like you, people are not taught these things. You know what I'm saying? They, they, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And as far as the Caucasians in this land, they have put everybody into one big group and they put us all into Africans, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's a total error right there, you know what I'm saying? It's totally wrong, you know what I mean? Because people are different, 
You know what I mean? You have different tribes, you have different religions, you have different backgrounds and different cultures, you know what I mean? So you can't just group everybody up in one big bulk and, and, and say they all one people because it doesn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? But now, to talk about the stereotypes, you know what I'm saying, that, that we have been taught, it comes from the ignorance of the European people people you know what I'm saying because the European people felt as though they were smarter than the average race you know what I'm saying matter of fact they're the ones that created all this race race thing for as me I'm not racing anybody you know what I'm saying I'm not competing against you I'm doing me you know what I'm saying I'm not out here trying to start no race I'm not trying to win nothing you know what I'm saying that's Caucasians that start that nonsense, you know what I'm saying, what race you are, you know what I'm saying, it was never like that, you know what I mean, it was always what community you're from, what tribe you're from, and stuff like that, but when the Caucasians came together and built Rome, you know what I'm saying, they joined themselves together, you have different nationalities coming together as one people, but they came together as one people because of their flesh, you know what I'm saying, they consider themselves white people, you know what I'm saying, they're the ones that came up with the white, black, you know what I'm saying, definition of people, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't like that in the past, that's why in the Bible you don't even have people being discussed about colors, now these same Caucasians is the ones that gave you the, 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 the mind state that you have, you know what I'm saying, of Africans versus African Americans, see like everything is depicted through television and the media so what you see is is what you what you want you know believe more than likely seeing is believing so now if i see a movie like precious you know what i'm saying and i'm being if i live in africa or i live in cameroon or i live in china or if i live, live in india Pardon me. See, this is the things that I go through all day. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, if a Russian sees the movie Precious, you know what I'm saying? They never met an African American ever in their life. You know what I'm saying? The stigma of Precious will be on their head. You know what I'm saying? It's like they say, they see, oh, this is how African Americans are. This is how they live. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I, I dislike people like that make movies. You know what I'm saying? Depicting the, the, the African American a certain way. Because the way you depict African Americans is the way the whole world depict black people in general. Because it starts off with the African American. You know what I'm saying? They call us black because they call the African American black. And matter of fact, the African Americans say, yeah, I'm black and I'm proud. So therefore, you know what I'm saying? The whole, all, all the people that look like African Americans claim to be black. Like me, I don't claim to be black at all, you know what I'm saying? And I know some of y'all looking at me like, yo, he's the blackest person in the world talking about he ain't black. No, nah, I was never black, you know what I'm saying? That's what they taught you. Look at this. This phone is black. This phone is nowhere near my skin complexion, you know what I'm saying? My hair is black. This phone is the color of my hair, you know what I'm saying? So how can that be the color of my skin? And you're not talking about your skin complexion. Are you talking about your mind state? You know what I'm saying? Your mind state is in a darkness. And you can't see. You're in, you're in a state of darkness. You're blind. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got topics like African Americans versus black Americans. Uh, 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 light skin versus dark skin. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Africans versus African Americans. And had topics like that because we're still in the darkness. We haven't understood that, you know what I mean, everything that we've been taught, you know what I'm saying, was from one side of the plane. You don't know African history. You never learned anything about Africa. What you heard and what you was taught was that Africans, uh, you know, inferior to white people, for real. You know what I'm saying? And when you look at it, I was looking at, uh, listening to C-SPAN yesterday. And they was talking about the uh, the failed failed states, you know what I'm saying? And seven of the failed top seven of the top failed states is African countries, you know what I'm saying?
there's a reason for this, you know what I'm saying? But nobody wants to look deeper into the whole picture. You're just taking what other people show you and making your own conclusion without knowing the whole facts of everything. You know what I mean? Which is stupid, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, people do that. So, like I say, in the past, when they used to show movies of Africans, like, uh, let me name a movie, Shaka Zulu. Now, they showed the movie Shaka Zulu in 1980. I think it came out like 1986. You know what I'm saying? So, when Shaka Zulu came out, they was showing you a person who lived in the 17th century, in the 18th century. You know what I'm saying? He, in a modern day time. So now, the people that was watching it was looking at it like this was... Even though the dates and everything was, they were looking like this is how Africans are, you know what I mean? Like, like Shaka Zulu, you know what I'm saying? And they walking around butt naked, titties hanging out, you know what I'm saying? Dust everywhere, niggas is, and then at the same time when they show you Africa and the poor babies, they starving in Ethiopia. You know, they hungry, you know what I'm saying? And they need something to eat, flies all over the place. You know what I'm saying? That was an image that they created in your mind. So now, you don't like that type of stuff. I, me, myself, I don't want to see people starving and a dead person right next to me, ribs, all that. That's not attractive. You know what I'm saying? So you will try to distance yourself from that. Just like, you know, the story in the Bible when they was talking about um, the, 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 the Samaritan and the good Samaritan. You know what I'm saying? The pastor... And everybody left the guy that was beat up on the street and went on the other side of the road because they didn't want to be participated with any of that. You know what I'm saying? But the Good Samaritan came and saved the guy, took him to the hospital, and da da da. See, we like the rabbis and everything. We don't want to associate ourselves with negative stuff or poverty and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be rich. Everybody want to be living it big and doing this and doing that. And, and, I, and I rock and I rock in Nietzsche and, and you rock polo and you slick it in me because I rock in Nietzsche and, and you rock polo and, and nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? And the whole fact of the matter is that everything that you were taught is from one's perspective. You know what I'm saying? So like when an African American sees things like that you know what I'm saying they want to distance themselves from that be like I'm not like that I'm not these people you know what I'm saying and I'm not with that and the same thing with an African American when you see I mean same thing with an African when you see movies like Precious and stuff like that you know what I'm saying they want to distance themselves away from nonsense like that you know what I mean and that's why they make movies like Boys in the Hood and Minister Society you know what I'm saying like you will never see no black movies like Sound of Music or Wizard of Oz that's been playing for decades. You know what I'm saying? Sound of Music probably is, uh, how many years? Over 50 years old, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I'm just guessing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But we still watch Sound of Music and it's still a lovely story. You know, you can keep watching Sound of Music over and over again. But as far as movies like Precious, yo, I didn't even watch half of the movie. I didn't even watch a piece of them. I only saw clips and clips and clips. And saying all that nonsense, man, I had to like, tch, I'll never watch this movie again. And it'll be stupid people talking about that was a good movie. That was not a good movie. And that movie was wicked and, and, and had no meaning to it whatsoever. I don't want to know about that nonsense, for real. You know what I'm saying? You might think it's real and say, yeah, they talk about the real, real life. And my life, <laughs> the ordinary person life is not like that. You know what I'm saying? That's some wicked people that need to be condemned for what they did. You know what I'm saying? Instead of put, making movies about them. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so like the stereotypes which were put into place to make your psychological yeah, you know I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's like they making you dislike each other to cause division. 